Yo, 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 what's going on? It's the NRW, where nerds rule the world. It's your boy, Cool Ya P, your Babinka boy, your Dobro, leader of the Hala Hala homies, and the son of Gang Gang of the NRW. And I'm here to rock out on Cliff Walkers with my boy, Rob, the movie guy. What's up, Rob? What's up, everybody? Well, I'm so happy to be here. I can't wait to get started with this review here, man. Heck yeah, man. Yo, I'm loving the new setup, bro. Like, you kind of rearranged things since I last... Uh, saw some of your reviews yeah man i'm i decided good. to give it a little uh background a little some change in the background mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> plus the sunlight great, doesn't work out the word about the sunlight anymore either that was another big factor too you, you know what that, that you know what i i see that now and yeah much bro there, look at you getting your love getting your game up it's a little stepping your game up a little late <laughs> in the game but i figured it out along the hey, way you know what i'm saying the more you do it the more you learn man yep. but now nah, we appreciate you man and we're loving what you're doing man over here oh, I, Love uh, you all too, I got to tell you from from my uh, from my half uh, over here, seeing what you're doing. So can't thank you enough, bro, for what you do. So, uh, yo, we got Cliff Walkers uh, from CMC Pictures over there in China. They reached out, uh, had this film that they uh, wanted me to check out and you checked to check out. So uh, let's throw it to the trailer for The Uninitiated. And we will come back with some of our thoughts, uh, a brief review on Cliff Walkers. Here we go. You 别人有人都能活下去的价值。There you go, Cliff Walkers. It was previously titled Impasse uh, in English. It's a 2021 Chinese historical film directed by Zhang Yimou and written by Kwon Yong Zin. It's set in the Imperial Japanese puppet state of Manchuko in the 1930s before World War II erupts. Um, a little bit more on the plot. Uh, set in the Japanese uh, puppet state of Manchuko, the film follows four Chinese Communist Party agents who parachute back to Harbin in northeastern China in the early 1930s. Together, they embark on a secret operation codename Utrenya. Uh, and if I'm mis- sound, uh, mispronouncing these names, my apologies. Uh, I don't know Russian, nor do I know Chinese. I'm doing my best, and I acknowledge that I don't know, but I'm trying. Um, so uh, that, that intends to extract a former prisoner who could expose the unethical human experimentation and other crimes against humanity committed by Unit 731 of the Imperial Japanese Army in front of the international community. Upon landing, the team members split into two groups to avoid being captured and tortured to sell out their loved ones on the other group. They are also ready to sacrifice by ingesting cyanide equivalent pills contained in a matchbox. Soon after their separation, Group 1 discovers their local contacts are disguised by enemies. They manage to escape the trap, but also they realize they had been sold out by a traitor who cave after being tortured and witnessing the execution of his fellow comrades. Will group one be able to inform group two and carry out the mission? That is the question on the snowy grounds of Manchuko. So um, there you go. You saw the trailer. That's the basic plot. Um, One of the things I've been meaning to look into is, was this based on a true story? Do you know at all, Rob, after watching the film? Did that, are are you a history buff at all? Not, 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 not in uh, Chinese or uh, any Asian history. I know very, very little things about it. So this was actually like one of the things that I was 
was curious about whether or not this actually did have any historical, um, uh, I guess, uh, uh, history behind it, you know, that yeah. that's actually actually had happened here. But the very little that I did come across here, um, it's supposed to be set, like you said before, in like the Imperial uh, Jap Japan or the Japanese, um, sorry, the puppet state. I don't know anything about that. So again, I don't know if this, that particular story has any sort of uh, historical accuracy at all in the movie. So okay. I really don't know. So yeah, that's one of the things I, I've been meaning to check into because I am a big history guy. Um, I love war, uh, war movies. Um, although as an Asian American, uh, a, a lot of times it is kind of painful. Uh, and sometimes yeah, it's very uh, nuanced in its uh, uh, glamorization of uh, America in regards yeah. to what they were doing. Um, you know, uh, you know, as POCs, I think we, we both know, you know, there's a two sides to every story. Yep. Um, and, and with uh, uh, American film being dominated by white people and white culture, they're going to obviously tell a more patriotic American story that makes them shine. Because um, I, I think if, if you're a history buff and you've done your research, mm -hmm. Vietnam also played out in a different way. The Korean yep. War played out in a different way. Yep. A lot of wars played out in different ways. Um, so uh, and, and with, with that being said, so that way, uh, that makes it hard for somebody who is a history buff like me, who, who wants to learn all about history and, and the ins and outs. But also knowing that, you know, colonialization, imperialism, and, and, and certain uh, people that have dominant power are going to influence it. So you have to get other understandings. That's why uh, for me, uh, Cliff Walkers was very intriguing to see. Yeah, same for me. Um, you know, uh, yeah. and, and, and that was a plus for me. And so I I, I definitely uh, I'm planning once we're done with this review uh, is to dive into uh, that history uh, yeah. because we don't always get that on cinema. So I applaud um, uh, CMC Pictures and, and, and them to tell their version of things. You know, yeah. uh, we don't always get that aspect uh, because uh, living here in the United States, they're, they're obviously going to portray America as the champion that they were, that they saved the world uh, for in different elements um, and, and fought in wars that they thought were, were meant to do. I think a lot of people tell you, like, you know, hate to throw it on Vietnam, but like Vietnam shouldn't have happened in a certain way. Um, yeah. But, uh, you know, but then as fans of that grew up in the 80s, like you and I, we wouldn't have gotten a Rambo. You know, uh, true. In One a of the greatest way. American heroes of all time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, yeah, that, that's what yeah. makes it difficult. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it's a, a lot of things that we love and enjoy. Um, but then as you grow older, you come to find out some of the things you, you become more hard. wise to what's actually yeah. going on. Yeah. But that's why, I mean, like yourself, I was really uh, excited for this movie because, for a number of reasons. But one of the fact, one of the reasons for that is because uh, you're getting a perspective being told from the Chinese perspective in, in a time of, uh, of America, well, of history, war history, really, for that matter, where yeah. I think most people are not uh, aware of, and myself oh, yeah. included. So I was intrigued with the story as it was. Um, I'll be completely frank with you. I was kind of expecting more like an action film because of the director. And uh, I always have to forget how to pronounce his name, Zhang Yimu, who had directed Hero, mm -hmm. which I thought was a fantastic film. So I thought, okay, well, this is probably along the same type of um, uh, uh, arena of uh, uh, action, if I thought, uh, if yeah. you will. But that wasn't the case, which actually kind of surprised me that this was more of a straightforward uh, period type of piece. Spy thriller. Totally, yeah. 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 And, and just some notes on that uh, in, in that regard. This is Zhang Yamao. And again, if Rob and I mispronounce it, we, we're trying Sorry. our best, yeah. uh, but we acknowledge that, you know, uh, we don't know it correctly, but we are, we are attempting to acknowledge as best as we can. Yeah. Uh, it's Zhang Yamao's first spy thriller in his over 40 year career. So this yeah. is his first time doing a film like this. So uh, I got to give him props on that. Uh, it, it, it looks good, it was different that yep. and i think if there is a slight negative for you and i we were expecting from what we already know of his material a yeah. certain kind of way but you know i, I gotta give a brother props to try and switch things up yep. uh to do something different so uh props on that yep. uh zhang yamao is a master of using cinematography and color to support the themes emotions and plots of his films an audience can easily identify key colors in each of his films and you know what i'll definitely agree on that yep, i felt I the cold I, I felt like man i needed a jacket watching this yeah. film you know and just uh especially that opening scene as they were dropping the, the uh, in the demon. mountains yeah yeah what did you think of that i thought that was kind of outstanding i loved kind of them putting i don't know if they put on gopros on them but to get kind of like i don't know i wonder how much of it that was real and how much yeah. of that was cgi yeah, I agree with you too. I think um, that opening sequence right there kind of just set like the tone of the film, which was, you know, one, it's uh, going to be almost like an isolation type of movie because everyone is pretty much 
uh, doing their own thing and then but, but not by choice because it's part of the mission and they're and they're having to separate from each other so that way if one group gets caught then they can they can try to avoid um, of avoid the person in danger that's a part of this mission too so that part of the the story the opening sequence was also really interesting and plus you also have the fact that they're in uh, um, in enemy territory too yeah so like I said it starts off in a, in a, in a really good spot because it already got my attention with the setting and the and the interaction with the characters um I got I got to be honest though uh, there was a part of me that wondered if um if a lot of what they shot uh, in the uh, in the forest was in fact um I wonder how long it took to make the movie because I think when I came across the uh, the the behind the scenes of this movie, they took like what six seven months to shoot the film, which is incredible because most films, what is it like, takes ninety days, and if you're lucky, maybe four months. But some most films tend to be a little less than that. So mm-hmm. I'm curious to see like how much of that was actually real because if they took that amount of time to shoot the movie, how much was that actually in play during those scenes? Because a lot of those things that you see in the movie. Um, yeah. feels very authentic to me. So I think I, I, I got an explanation for you because I'm reading some of these lines uh, real quickly as you were saying that because, yeah, yeah. Gen- as we know, we have, it doesn't take films that long, but it does for certain pro- projects. But the f- uh, one of the key notes that I s- uh, I'm looking at some of the notes here, the film was shot on location in Harbin, which okay. is in negative 40 degrees Celsius snowy weather. And that's so, in China? Yeah. Okay. So if that's happening... Um, and, oh, and it also says historical locations in Harbin were 100% rebuilt just for the film, such as the okay. city's Central Street, Asia Cinema, and Martyr Hotel, which were completely recreated in 1930 style. Wow. So that's amazing. Uh, apparently, lead actor Zhang Yi grew up in Harbin and, in fact, lived on a street that was one of the rebuilt filming locations. Uh, during filming, he was able to find his parents' old house there and video chatted to, the, to them to show them how accurately recreated it was. That's pretty sweet. Oh, that's awesome. Um, so, yeah, uh, if you're working in negative 40 degree Celsius snowy weather, yeah, that's going to be hard on any team to like to really get put the out film. the shots. And, well, you know, it, that's that, the I'm thing sure too. that extended the time. You, I didn't even realize that it gets that cold in China. So, like, for someone like myself, you know, who's who's never been to China and not yeah. knowing, because most of the times we've seen uh, China in film is in hot environments, Hong Kong and yeah. other parts of the mainland too. So it never registered to me that well, maybe there's some <laughs> mountains and maybe there are some uh, cold winters up there, brutal yeah. ones like that. So just this alone really provided some insight about part of China that I was not aware of at all. So yeah, yeah. So that to 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 be accurate, they they wanted to shoot on location. Uh, yep. so, so I, I would assume that to do all that, it was going to take them some time, especially considering the conditions. Um, let, let's get back a little bit onto the story, uh, yeah. uh, 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 and, and the film. Um, so like the opening, they come in, I, I thought that was great. I, I like those visuals, uh, then kind of making their way towards the encampment, uh, splintering off. Uh, they found out the one traitor. They they yeah. kind of had to like you know bag their guns to the side. I don't know if I would have done that, but then but yet the one lady she's like, nah, I got it in my in my in my in this uh m- m- mitt or whatever. And then yeah, the that's that, when yeah, you yeah, first yeah, see yeah, the yeah, thing yeah. happen. Yeah. Um, I thought I, I I enjoyed all that. And then then we get to the train, and then everything the train scene I thought was dope. Uh, when they're trying to get notes to each other when things were happening. Yeah. Um, it's it's. Uh, do you, I'll pause there. What did you think of uh, some of that sequence going up into the train? Well, uh, so the, in the opening sequence, you get that one part of the f- uh, film where you have the enemy are who have all the prisoners on their knees and they're all drinking. Oh, yeah. When they were doing some of that. Take yeah. So their, I thought yeah. that was really effective, too, because it kind of set the tone of like who how they were. Um, and you can see the, the 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 gravity behind the danger that they are entering, at least in that part of the area. So, mm-hmm. like I said, like that whole I think well, that's like about twenty minute uh, sequence right there from start to finish from that point. Yeah, like that was done beautifully. And of course, the the backdrop of the uh, the cold uh, winter mountains there. That's that was also effective too. Once it got to the train sequence, that's for me where the film, the tone of the film, kind of changed a little bit for me. It, like there's it a, there was a, a shift. Yeah, 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 there was a there shift was in a shift. that. Yeah. yeah. And that's kind of where I started to pick up on the the direction that the story was starting to go, mm. which kind of lost me a little bit. I'm not saying that it was terrible by any means. It's yeah, just that yeah. I, because the way the film started, it had this different aspect to the movie that I was expecting. Yeah. Um, and then once it got to the train sequence, uh, the, there's a fight sequence in the train in one of the carts. Yeah. Uh, with uh, the young, the girl, I forgot her name. Uh, forgive me. I, there's a lot, a lot of the names there. I'm trying really hard to remember, but. Um, the young girl who was part of the mission too, and mm-hmm. she's fighting one of the enemy uh, enemy uh, in the cart. 
that's where everything had changed for me when it comes to the the direction of the not so like just the action but just the story in general yeah um and i'm wondering at that point if um if that was somewhat to be intentional that they changed that shift of tone uh, from what we got in the beginning of the movie to where how the film the rest of the film kind of just uh changed course from there so i was curious about that because that's kind of where I was a little mixed about that approach in the story. I feel you. I, 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 I that wasn't my point yet. It, it was later when they got to the hotel. That's where I totally got True. thrown off. Yeah. That was, you know, uh, again, we're, we're, you know, we're, we're based here in the U S where this is yeah. an international film we're reviewing. Um, but we are wanting to just see more projects. So that's what I love about seeing this film, but yeah, yeah same here. trying to have the way, you know, every, everybody doesn't do it the same, which is great. I think that's beautiful. Um, yeah. but, there's it's something that I as a you an American viewer where I'm going to default where I'm going to have a little bit of issues with it and yeah. uh, that was an issue I, I think so you, you're started with a train mine started later with the hotel but I, I still was okay with it I thought it was kind of cool visually uh, the fight uh, and and the, the way they shot and the the, the intensity uh, yeah. in the train uh, them trying to figure things out and uh, like how are they going to pass these notes how are they going to warn each other uh, that and, and all that so I'm curious about what you thought about the, their their how they're handing off all these uh all these little sick because I'm not I mean are we gonna get into spoilers yet? because I think we're gonna try to yeah make we can spoiler things. yeah okay, yeah okay. We're, we're, we can spoiler so you know they're they're trying to let you know hey there's a yeah. what's going on and they're leaving all these little markings and yeah. the the thing that confused me I'm not sure if this is how it works in real life when it comes to spy you know spy <laughs> missions and whatnot uh, so I'm, I'm I'm ignorant in that department but. It just seemed like the most simplistic thing. There's like a V mark on the poster. And I'm like, so how are they supposed to know that? Unless they were trained, hey, someone's gonna leave a post, a mark on this part of the area and you're gonna see this marking there. But then the enemy knew about it too. So there was like a lot of that going on. So I was a little confused on how that was actually established prior to them pursuing that. Now, I'm sure that was explained in certain sequences that I tried really hard to to uh, uh, pay attention to. But once that started happening, I started to kind of lose a little bit of that um, of the uh, the realism that I thought the film was presenting. Um, yeah. But again, this is the part where I'm not I'm completely ignorant when it comes to mission uh, of no that worries. sort. There, so Do you watch so so spy movies aren't really your bag too much. I, I wouldn't say that it isn't, but um, okay, I it, it it's 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 not one that I go to first gotcha. when it comes to it's okay. like it's like one of the, like the third thing I would go to if it's, if it's something else, if nothing else uh, can interest me above that. I copy that. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. it was code work, and they did kind of touch upon it. You know, the 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 agents that were on this mission were trained in Russia. The the one yeah. female, but there is a hole there. I would agree with you. There's in, in regards to what they did in that sequence. Right. The the the, the young lady was supposed to be the uh, code person because she also had that book. When they later right, were in right, the hotel, right. like she's the master code person. Once she sees it, she can visualize it. It it, it stays there. Um, and then one of the agents also spoke Russian too. The, yeah, the, the yeah, because all, yeah. all of them were trained there. But yeah, what the yeah. problem was is it was that they well, there was a mole, so they don't know who right. or was you know now working for the other team, you know. Uh, and, and so, yeah, there, there's a little bit, of, but I think you know they they I think they pulled it off there. Um, I, I didn't catch it too much, but now that you have me thinking about it, because it was more, the, I think the male was going there. If yep. it was the male going, then he shouldn't know because the, the one that was really trained up. Uh, was there was a female breaker, yeah was the female so yeah. that's what's you know, now you got me rethinking that scene but i think yeah. it was still done right uh it, it's uh, again later on where it, i, I kind of got lost but i can understand the beats for you uh from there uh where that was going so yeah the, so the train sequence then i guess then we arriving we're coming well we're coming off the train and yeah. they get separated um uh one of the um, moments that i really enjoyed was uh so the the guy and the girl got separated because the girl uh, when the ticket guy, one of the bad guys, uh, I don't know if he was a bad guy or it was just uh, they had military that, that yeah yeah so her it, just right right yeah she looks suspect right because that's know? the thing though you sometimes like it's not really established like who the people that were yeah interfering or trying to uh, right you know up to uh, stop these uh, uh, heroes if you will mm -hmm. Th that's the part that kind of confused because that's what, there was a few times I had to go back to watch that yeah. again to like so was he there sent by somebody on the other side to uh fight to stop these guys because they they got no they got heads up that hey they're going to be riding on this train yeah. uh, heading to this destiny like something really to kind of get an idea of what's going on uh yeah. with you know with with them trying to stop the mission if you will so yeah. the, a lot of that stuff kind of was a little confusing for me and I, I think that was the most confusing part that whole train sequence like i said 
really changed the, the, the whole shift for me because yeah. there's not a lot of explanation about what had happened leading up to that. And then everything else after that is kind of like, all right, well, so we've got out. So now we're going to be doing our, our thing. So yeah. you go here, you go over there and look out for these. Like, so it started to make sense, but it yeah. allowed for me to catch up to really understand what was going on. Really Which, under, but you know what? I can, I, I, I can understand that. And, and what I think that's, I guess, an international difference, you know, uh, I think what I dislike with a lot of American films is a lot of times they don't think of the intelligence of the viewer. So they actually spoon feed it to us. And I think we growing up with that system, we look for that in, in a way they, they don't count on us to just kind of get it out the go. So internationally, they're just going to go ahead and just like do that. But at the same time, it it would help. <laughs> Well, you know? I mean, here's the thing. Yeah. I mean, that's. I mean, I, I, I watch a lot of international movies. There's a lot of good uh, international. I mean, a yeah. lot of uh, foreign films out there that, in some ways, are superior than to most in some oh, yeah. American films. I would say. Yeah. You know, like we, we talked about briefly with uh, Zhang's uh, previous uh, films, he's done uh, yeah, Hero, yeah. which is a very complicated story yeah. in itself. But that was done masterfully, in my opinion, and yeah. I think that was more his, his mm -hmm. uh, genre of film, which he really excels in. And so, the approach that he was taking with this movie, I felt like was more the same beat. Mm -hmm. But it um, it's a whole different uh, genre that he's taking on. So the things that probably worked well for him on those other type of films in the action genre, um, I wouldn't say didn't translate that well, but probably could have been, uh, in my opinion, I, I could see what he was trying to do, yeah. but it didn't have that same impact on me gotcha. because because there was a lot of things that were left out. Whereas, in, I guess I'm using Hero as an example, but Hero yeah. left those those things untouched and unsaid. But you figured it out along the way, like, oh, now it makes sense because I was able to pick up on as the story progressed yeah. here. It was not so much like that. So mm. uh, but maybe it's just the change of genre and him trying to get himself uh, in the in the in the swing of it to kind of get the momentum going for him. It yeah. worked to some extent, but, you know, they just. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm with you. I, I guess I'm trying to give it. I don't want to say I'm giving an excuse, but there's but there are noticeable difference in uh, being yeah. of having reviewed films as long. And I know you and you as well. Uh, that and just noticeable difference internationally in American films, of course, uh, in, in style and the way they present the material. Uh, but no, I, I feel what you're saying, but and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that might have been the, the why, the why to, yeah. to their approach. Um, so yeah, train sequence and going into the hotel. Uh, one of the things that we find out, uh, it, that kind of gives you some connection. Well, for me, as a that gave me a connection as a parent, uh, that yeah. uh, initially actually it was even presented earlier on because yeah. they had a split. Uh, the, the two teams up that they weren't uh, intending. Apparently, they, there was a couple. Uh, and, and so, you know, the husband and then the wife is on the other team. Then they're, they're up finally on the train. And then they're like, yo, one of us, at the end of the day, whoever makes it, find the kids. Find the kids. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we're on the train. We're finally... Uh, actually, actually uh, I, I got... where I, I remember where I, what we got lost earlier where we kind of sidetracked. Uh, so they, they separated. So the two groups were together, uh, but then they're coming off of the train because uh, uh, the one girl got pulled away and then the one guy's trying to find her. But uh, he has a, a cool way of getting the right ticket to get off. Um, oh, yeah. I thought that was a, 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 yeah. another part, piece of the film that I enjoyed. Yeah, he I he found too. this one couple and acted as the ticket taker, uh, checking them. And so he kind of switched out the ticket. And so uh, when they came off the train, they got nabbed. Um, and then he got Scott free to make it uh, out of there. That was actually a pretty cool. So, yeah, I, yeah. I, I like that approach with that with that scenario there. Yeah. And then yeah. Uh, go on. Sorry. Oh, no, no worries. So so that that happens. But then the other young lady who was captured, uh, how she survives and gets out of there um, by hanging outside of the the train. Uh, that was that was kind of a cool sequence there. Yeah. And then she's like this little small thing and then gets the guy and kills him uh, in the train. Yeah. Line. I remember that. Yeah. Uh, and then makes her way to the hotel and everything. Uh, but then, like I said, yeah, at that point, the, all the teams are there, but then like, like you said, man, this is where I kind of got lost where I'm trying to track who's who. Yep. And then the one person gets captured um, the guy. And then, but he did encounter the, the kids or he thinks they're the kids. Yeah. Uh, out out by around. the theater shop where they were, yeah, so was, they were outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. So yeah, that and so basically, the rest of this film is you know the, the key of this film that they have this operation where they're just trying to expose the atrocities of this prison where they're just yeah. killing uh, these people that live there for inhumane a long time. And it's, yeah, it's, it's it's inhumane, and yeah. uh, their whole thing is to just get somebody out. Um, so we see just uh, to me this this film is a, is a I enjoyed it. 
but I got lost uh, towards the end. Uh, yeah, so, the, so the final quarter of the film, I got lost because I didn't know where they're going. There's some great visuals. There was a torture scene that happened that was painful to watch. Yeah. But uh, I really, as a filmmaker, I really enjoyed the visuals. So Zhang Yimao really was outstanding. Brought a lot of his of his flavor from his you know yep. forty year career into that. Um, I just wish the ending was stronger. Uh, and and uh, we do kind of get a happy ending. Um, but visually, I I, I enjoyed it. Um, I, and I may need to give it another watch a couple more times to just yeah, see same here. what elements. But if there's one thing that this film did for me, and, and as a viewer and a fan of historical films uh, or, or historically based films, it, 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 it's prodded me to now research that history. And as an American that grows up here and, and, you know, and wanting to learn, get the full story and not and being spoon fed, you know, because I live here to this degree of this is America's thing. I want to know what everybody else is because it's, it, we all know how America isn't 100 percent, you know, the great that, that we all know we have our issues. So I want to get all sides of the story to make a uh, to get a perfect you know, feel for it. Um, so that was it for me. What, what, Rob, what, what were some pluses, minuses uh, that you want to just talk briefly on? So the, the pluses is what I mentioned earlier, what you and I had were we agree upon where th this is the part of the history of that I'm not familiar with. That is something that I, that I think was important to tell. Um, I The film does look uh, beautiful visually. I, I think, you know, Zhang's uh, take on on taking with this with this project was good, but the negatives I take away from was that there were some elements of the story that I felt like was not as well executed like he has done with some of his other's work. Um, but despite that, I still felt like the, the closure that we get from the story was fitting and I actually did, did like it, but it just wasn't as impactful um, yeah. as I hoped it would be. Uh, but the actors were all great though. Everyone, in my opinion, thought did a really good job when it came to the performances. Uh, mm -hmm. Some of the, I, I don't mean to sound like, like, like I'm a, I'm a, like I'm a psychotic person, but the torture scenes I thought were really well done. You know, yeah. like they were effective. Like when you it see, hurt. I, I, yeah, I can feel it. Like, oh. yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, and you have the, I guess the villains, so to speak, that yeah. are there watching them and you can see the other uh, spy that is on the good side, but he's on the other end watching yeah. his, you know, his, uh, comp his, comp his compatriots to like see him get tortured like that. And yeah. it's one of those things where like, I, I love that aspect of the story when it came to, that, that conflict they're having to deal with where that's the possibility you're going to be running into. So you yeah. got to keep your composure. Yeah. And I thought it worked and it, it was done effectively too. But, but as far as the overall package is concerned, I definitely would go back and watch it again just to get myself uh, refreshed with the whole process. If now that I've seen it, I have yeah. already digested it enough. I can go back and see what can I look at it different, look at it now differently from what I did before, because before I was expecting a certain type of film yeah. and I didn't get yeah. that. And that's, and then when I'm the ship you. changed in the train sequence, that's where everything had changed for me. Yeah. I think um, we both came to it with, with already a kind of an idea. Yeah. Like a preconceived of notion work. of the film. Right. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, for me, it was good. Not great. Uh, this, yeah. It fell apart towards the end as a filmmaker an, an, an eye feast. Uh, visually beautiful. Yep. The actors played their parts were outstanding. I think yep. they 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 did their job. It's just the the latter half of the story it, it kind of fell through and became. Uh, I think you and I said a, a little bit cliche towards the end. Yeah, um, I, I felt it was but, that way. But yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, th that's what I think. I guess we both agree upon. Um, I I, I think it, again, if if anything, it succeeds to tell another part of the story that a lot of people don't know, and and, and that's why we make movies, why people make films. Is, is to, to push these stories out that you, people may not be aware of and, and just give you another side and, and, and uh, help explain it. And if it provokes you to research it, outstanding. Yeah, and to also tell the story of this type of caliber because this is not a cheap movie as you can as no. I've seen. Yeah. So I got to give think, them on that you know, dedication to film in negative 40 degree weather, man. Yeah, so you know to really commit to that and put in the money into and it shows on the screen. Um, I mean, that's something that I, we need to see more of, like, you know, oh, not yeah. just make these, I mean, I'm not saying that, uh, that they, they sh it should have been a low budget film, but to see a story of that caliber to be told in a, like a broad, ex you know, uh, a story that matches the likes of Hollywood, if not a little bit better in some cases, but this movie, I think is, uh, it, it definitely does accomplish in that regard, but. Oh yeah. You know, definitely compared to what, just, to what we're doing in Hollywood. It was a little, yeah. yeah, it's a little, I wish it was a little faster because it was a little slow for my taste. I'm not against slow films, but. Yeah, it, the buildup wasn't as satisfying as I as, as I hoped it would. But that's, yeah, that's really just like the major negative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the buildup and 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 like a story, but comparatively, you know what? Yeah, 
I, I didn't even think about it until you just made those statements. Like, yeah, this mirrors what Hollywood is doing. Like yeah. if CMC Pictures, they are, they're kicking it up a notch, man. They're, they're, they're trying to, to compete with what Hollywood is doing. Yep. That, that was as good as any other military American film I've seen. And, and, and to yeah. me, uh, a little uh, got me more provoked because it's giving me a whole nother side that I than what I normally get here. So, yeah, uh, yeah man. So Cliff Walker's uh, Rob the Movie Guy, Kuya P, uh, before we sign off, man, uh, that's what we think. And so if you want to hit us up, let us if you want to like, nah, Patrick, you missed that or Rob, you missed that. Uh, we're going to tell you our socials, how you can connect with us. Rob, why don't you hit them up? So you can follow me on my social media accounts. I have a Twitter page at Rob, uh, Rob Medina 0585 on Instagram, Rob underscore Medina, sorry, Medina 0585 and on Facebook, Rob, the movie guy. There you go. My man, Rob, the movie guy. I'll make sure you check him out. He's been killing it for us on the reviews. I can't thank him enough for doing all that, man. Uh, your boy, Kuya P, you can follow me at Strange since 1977 or at Simple Far East. One of those is Twitter. One of those is IG. Um, also here at the NRW where nerds rule the world and that's at the NRW and at New Release Wednesday. And if you want to get the POC perspective within pop culture, uh, at the Nerds of Color and that's at the Nerds of Color at everything. And there you go. Yeah. The NRW giving you the new review where nerds rule the world. Rob Movie Guy. Kuya P. Out of here. Cheers. Cheers.